American football is a sport millions enjoy watching. And according to a survey by Sports Marketing Surveys USA, published in February 2024 by the Outdoor Foundation on Statista.com, 5.6 million people ages 6 and up participated in football in 2023. This number grows when you include sports like soccer, rugby, boxing, and mixed martial arts slash MMA. This amount of people participating in contact sports can allow chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, to become more prevalent in our society. Being involved in contact sports like football, wrestling, and kickboxing since a very young age, I am no stranger to head injuries, but only by doing research that I really begin to understand the damage I may have done. I'm confident to, this, to say that you may have a brother, father, sister, or friend that may have played contact sports. This brain disorder is an extreme but very real example of what can happen over a long career with head injuries. Even though I'm 18, I played football for 10 years and kickbox for four. I've had many head injuries over the years, and I know others with the same. I even know people with chronic headaches and others that had to stop playing the sports they love due to the brain risk. Because of this, we will explore CTE more deeply. We will first define CTE and dive into the statistics of young athletes with it. And second, hear the story of a, of a beloved MMA fighter whose alleged CTE has ruined his career forever. According to an article titled, Chronic Traumatic Encephalopathy, published and written by the Mayo Clinic staff on November 18, 2023, CTE is a brain disorder likely caused by repeated head injuries. It causes the death of nerve cells in the brain called degeneration. And CTE gets worse over time. The only way to definitively diagnose CTE is after death during an autopsy on the brain. The development of CTE has been associated with second impact syndrome, in which a second head injury happens before previous head injuries symptoms have fully resolved. And this phenomenon is happening at higher rates than theorized. An article by Dr. Ann McKee, the director of CTE and Alzheimer's Disease Research Centers at Boston University, published a study in October of 2023 in which her team performed and analyzed autopsies on deceased young contact sport athletes from 2008 to 2022. They examined 152 brains with the average age of 23, with 92.8% of them being male. The results revealed that 63 or 41% of the brains were diagnosed with CTE. 60 or 95.2 of the diagnosed brains were considered mild CTE in the first two stages. Due to de degeneration, the severity of CTE worsens over time which can be attributed to why these cases were mild in their 20s. Even though to diagnose CTE, one needs an autopsy, we can still speculate on individuals who might have it based on their behavior and cognitive ability. One such case is the beloved MMA fighter, Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson, nicknamed El Kukui, was an MMA fighter in the UFC. He was known for his brutal wars in the octagon with a hands-down style he would let you hit him just so he could hit you back harder. And everything was looking up for him when he went on a 12-fight win streak, obtaining the, light heavyweight, the lightweight championship title. Unfortunately, the more entertaining and brutal his fights were, the more Tony Ferguson was deteriorating. This all culminated in a restraining order from his wife to force him to receive help. I will highlight some of these things in that report which was obtained and published by MMAfighting.com on March 15th, 2019. It claimed Tony Ferguson was acting violent, paranoid, and delusional for months. He believed he was being watched and tracked, so he destroyed mirrors and other household appliances to try and find cameras. He purchased a life raft, gathered his family, and drove them 111 miles away from their home in the middle of the night because he believed a lunar eclipse would cause a devastating flood. And he also took food away from his son because he believed it to be poisoned. The symptoms of CTE include impulsive behavior, aggression, depression or apathy, trouble thinking, emotional instability, and motor skill issues. And Tony Ferguson's actions can be classified as impulsive behavior, aggression, depression or apathy, trouble thinking, emotional instability, 
and motor skill issues. Ever since his 12 fight win streak, he's been an eight fight losing streak due to the deterioration. Although we cannot know for certain if he has it, we can speculate heavily due to the symptoms. Today, we learned what CTE is and dove into the stats of young athletes with it. And we also learned what a long career with CTE might look like in the beloved Tony Ferguson. We explored CTE because of the potential brain injuries in contact sports enjoyed by millions of young athletes. It is important to show empathy to those experiencing the major effects of CTE. It could be a parent, a sibling, a friend, or even yourself. But now, Equipped with this knowledge of how CTE can drastically change who someone is, we can hopefully all be more careful playing the contact sports we love and share this information with those who have the potential to be affected by CTE.